Hi there, here's Tati from Amios. Now I'm going to explain how you can optimize the product for SEO. I've created the bike article where I can show you what you have to do. First, you will improve the product URL. The URL structure is an important factor for good search engine rankings. But the URL not only provides information for search engines, it should be structured primarily for visitors. The URL should be simply structured, contain the keywords and clearly define the topic of a page for both users and search engines. In IMEOS, the product name is shown in the URL as a URL segment. URL segments are the parts of a URL delimited by slashes. If you want to optimize your site for search engines, then short but precise URLs are important. In the basic tab, you can add a new URL segment that is different for the product name. If you do not enter a new URL segment in the basic tab, then it is automatically generated from the label. In IMEOS, the URL segments must be unique because it is used to find a product in a database. This one is used for all languages, but you can override it with a different one for each language. I'll show you that afterwards. Now save a product. Go back to the list page and reload the page. Otherwise, the old URL segment is still used. Now you can see the new product URL segment. In the text tab, you can add a URL segment for each language. In our example, I will use Trendline City Bike Nino. Because the URL segment should describe a product, it should contain the keywords you would like to rank for. In our case, the manufacturer, the product category, and the product name. Also, you should use the dash for your CEO URLs. Google treats the dash as word separator, but does not treat an underscore that way. Now save your product, go back to the list, and reload the page. Here's the new URL segment. Now I'm going to add meta keywords. Meta keywords are snippets of text that describes a page's content. They help search engines to understand what your page is about. Meta keywords only appear in the page source code and are not visible to your visitors. You must separate the keywords with a comma. I'm using these keywords because these are the keywords we would like to be found for. And last, I'm going to create a meta description. The purpose of a meta description is getting people to click on your link in the search engine result list. Google counts how many people clicked on your link. And the more people click, the higher you move up in the result list. Therefore, optimizing the meta description is very important. If you do not enter a meta description, then Google will take a text from the website that it thinks is most appropriate. Now save your product, 
and reload the page. So here are the keywords we have added. And here's the meta description. You can also add in your L segment, a meta description and keywords for your categories. Go to the category tab and click on the category. Here you can add a new URL segment. In the text tab, you can add meta keywords and meta descriptions. Now save your category and reload the page. Go to your category and here's the new URL segment you have added. Ta-da! Now go optimize your products. See you, your Tati from Amias.